Okay, today we are going to do your SLC posters, but I want to start off by brainstorming some words to put on your SLC posters. So we are going to think about words first um, by ourselves in our own heads that we could put on our SLC posters. And then you're going to raise your hand and you're going to share that word. And then I'm going to say, uh, give you a marker to go ahead and put it on the whiteboard for the class to use while we're building the SLC posters. Okay, so let's think about a word for a second. And as soon as you think of a, a word to use, just raise your hand and I will call on you. Yes, Jeffrey? Uh, perspectives. Perspectives, great word. Victoria? Analysis. Great word. Citations? Citations, sure. Talking so we talk to your friends. How about a better word? Communication. Communication. Inquiry. Inquiry. Evaluation. Evaluation. Thank, thank you, Harry, for raising your hand. Lincoln, yeah. My own. My own. Reflection. Class, let's go ahead and settle down. Go ahead and sit in your seats. Is there any other words that kind of pop out that we could put on here that would be useful for the whole class? Yes. Social? Social, yes. Studies? Um, Inquiries? Inquiries, yeah. Oh, it's already on there? Okay. Maybe think of another word for inquiry. Yes, ma'am. Collaboration. Collaboration. Education. Education? Eh, that's really broad. I want to be, let's be a little bit more specific, right? Harry. Elaboration. Elaboration, sure. Yes, Carla. Collaboration, already said. Ines. Critical thinking, I think. Critical thinking was already put up there. That's no, critical thinking is up there and creative thinking. Self-management. Okay. Organization, go for it. But yes. Self-support. Well, that's like self-management. Um, go ahead, go ahead and put it up there. Yes. Planning. Yes. I think there's a few words that are really would be really helpful. Oh, yeah. Effective? Okay, put it up there. Yes, call it. Oh, you're done with your pen? Okay. So let's think about our criteria that we're using. So on here, on here we have, on here we have reflection, we have planning. What are the other two criteria that we're missing? Criteria C. Think about your report. Criteria What's criteria C? Um, action. Action. We're all going to just take a moment. We're going to be silent and I'm going to say the word as soon as Harry takes one more guess. Developing. Developing. Eh, not quite. It's something about idea creation. It starts with an I. It is. Investigation. Oh. Oh. In a moment, I'm going to show you some examples. The examples that I'm showing you on here are out in the hall as well. This is what your poster should look like in two or three weeks. All right, I will show you the examples. So you have stuff like your project timeline. You include your IB Learner profiles, also pictures of your process. Can I be you, uh, you can take, you can do your process journals handwritten, but you have to take pictures of your hand handwriting and then put it up on here. Well, I mean, can you just like create a poster and then like, handwrite the things? Handwrite the things on your poster? No, because for SLCs we're going to be printing them off digitally. But you can do your process journal handwritten and then take pictures of your process journal and, and put them on there. You need pictures of all your phases, investigate, plan, and action. We actually aren't going to be focusing on reflection because the exhibition is part of your reflection. What's some things that you notice about this particular poster? Yes, oh Victoria. God, it's quite colorful. It is quite colorful. It attracts your attention. You want to read it, right? But it's not just saying 
like social thinking research. It's being specific about action items. Where can we find the specific ATL strands or actions, Carlos? There's an ATL skills section. Yeah, the ATL skills section on ManageBet. Mm -hmm. Um, there's also, yeah, that poster over there, Harry, that says ATL skills, has actually specific examples on it for you. Skills, skills, skills. Then you're also going to put some learner profiles on there as well. And you're going to, but you're not just going to say reflective, knowledgeable, caring. How did you actually develop those skills? Right, and then having your goal is certainly important on there as well. These can all be found on ManageBack if you want to look at them later. So, on manage back in tasks, yeah, and that's where you see exhibition poster um, folder. That's where the posters are. But in manage back, the exhibition poster, I made a new task for it. And it, I've outlined what your poster needs to be like. All right, so what's required? Your cast project's basic topic. Um, your class section, so it needs to have 6.4 or whatever on it. Uh, your ATL skills, like I said, two to three specific skills. Pictures, images, the HIS logo and IB logos, I'll be airdropping that to you at the uh, end of this. These are some optional things that you can have, right? Your IB learner profile, your timeline, your global context, because you can't fit all of this stuff in. And we also want your guys' posters to be different. Okay? Use the words that we came up with on the board. If you think, oh, maybe I can put this up word up there later in class for other people to use, put the word up on the board. That's okay. Is there any questions? Um, yes, Jerry. So you say IB learner profiles aren't necessary? No, they're not necessary. It's an optional thing that you can use. Or you can hide you do it. Uh, there are many ways to get the highest level of attainment. Certainly using the IB learner profiles will help you achieve that and reflecting on your learner profiles. Any other questions? Remember you've already written your report, so use what you've written in the report in your poster. So your ATL skills that you've already identified in your report can help you with the ones you're going to put on your poster. And same thing, motor profile, and other parts of your process. Any other questions? No. All right, what I want you to do now is open your computers. I'm going to airdrop you the you IB logo. I'm going to airdrop you the IB logo and the HS logo. All right, hands up. This is the highest. Hold your hands, put them in your laps. So before I airdrop this to you, yes, you can find it on Manage Back, but airdropping is just a really easy way. Uh, so we're gonna do that. And also it helps you practice that skill, right? But this is what you're gonna do. On your Word document, you're gonna take it from like the downloads folder or your desktop, and you're going to drag it from here and put it onto your document. These are way too big. What you need to do now is make them small. Shrink it. Shrink it. They are tiny. That's tiny. They get to the small. That's Probably something like that big. And then after that, you need to make it so you can move the, the image independently. So if I go wrap text in front of text, that's how I can do that. Now I can move it independently. I'm going to put these on the top right. That's what it should look like. If you don't want to use Microsoft Word and you want to use Canva, you can use Canva. Uh, it's up to you. However, I will say this. When we print off the poster, we know Microsoft Word works really well with the printing company. Canva, since this is the first year we're using it, we don't know if it, it'll, it'll work as well. It could work just fine. It could not. So, you know, we have to kind of think about our expectations on what gets printed off because we're unsure if it's going to work as well as Microsoft Word. Uh, but I know a lot of you like using Canva. All right, I'm going to airdrop that to you 
now, and then you can go ahead and work on your poster. I'll be coming around giving you feedback throughout the, uh, the rest of the lesson. All right, thank you.